Hello everyone, Steve here, and today I have three tips for you that I think every newer coach should be aware of. And I believe if they were, it would result in a reduction in the huge amount of suffering that's out there in the world of coaching. And in addition to the three tips, I have an invitation for you. So uh, as many of you may know, I'm coming up to about 20 years in coaching. I still love this work and I believe it's a noble and important calling. And each year I see literally thousands of good souls come into coaching with the very best of intentions and a great deal of hope and enthusiasm because they wanna earn a living helping others, you know, helping others make changes that they simply can't make on their own. And so they throw themselves into their coach training and generally they love it. And then sometime, a few months down the road or even a few years down the road, these thousands of good souls are virtually blindsided by the reality that um, it's not enough just to be a passionate and good coach. There simply aren't a bunch of jobs out there waiting for coaches. You, the reality is that for the vast, vast majority of coaches, you've got to learn how to build your own coaching practice from scratch. And really nothing that you've learned in, in your training to learn how to coach has really prepared you sufficiently to figure out how to build your practice. And um, if you go into any room of newer coaches, you're going to see that a lot of those coaches are struggling. It's really hard to find coaches in the first couple of years of their practice that are making a living out of it. And, and that's a shame. And it translates into a huge amount of suffering. Now, in my years of coaching, I have known and studied and mentored and worked with a lot of coaches. And so it's from this experience that I want to share the tips I have for you today. So tip number one, please start learning about marketing and business development as soon as you start your coaching practice. This may seem obvious, but the, really the vast majority of coaches fall in love with their training and they forget all about learning what they need to learn to make a living as a coach. Building a practice always takes longer than you would like or you would imagine. And it, it, it can take even for coaches that really apply themselves and learn, start to learn their skills, it can easily take 12 months to 24 months to get to a place where you kind of have figured out for your personality and the market you're going after, how to best connect to your clients, how to best enroll them and engage them. And far too many coaches, you know, are afraid of marketing, so they kick it down the road thinking they'll figure it out later. And the problem only gets bigger. So please start early and learn all you can. There are hundreds and hundreds of proven ways to build a coaching practice. And you just need to find one that kind of suits you, your personality and the type of work you want to do. Tip number two, um, way too many coaches default to kind of a sales based approach to getting clients, meaning an approach that relies on you consistently getting out there qualifying potential clients, working your network, offering sample sessions, following up, uh, etc. And this this approach uh, can work. In fact, many of us, you know, perhaps get our first 10 clients that way because we haven't figured out a better way yet. But for many coaches, this is not a great way to build a practice because it just doesn't fit your personality. Um, most coaches just don't have that personality to get out there and push, 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 you know, selling coaching. So they, they get discouraged and they quit long before they've kind of figured out how to do it in, a, in an effective way. And another problem with uh, most sales based approaches, it's, it's a good rule of thumb. And this comes from social media, you know, marketing research that at any given time, less than 1% of your market, 1% of your chosen ideal clients is actually ready to hire you today. And another good rule of thumb is probably 80% of that demographic is never going to hire you because they're too busy. They're not aware they've got a problem. They've 
um, you know, they're skeptical or they might not have the money. So if you go around just trying to sell to everyone, you're going to get rejected so many times it, that you know, most coaches just give up and quit because they're so discouraged. So um, this sales approach, it, who does it work for? Well, it definitely works for people who are you know, more extroverted. It definitely works for people who have access to large kind of captive pools of clients. For example, you know, our, our coach trainers, uh, they're excellent people and good coaches. Uh, but everybody they're talking to is wanting to learn their skills and open and available. And so a sales-based approach in that scenario works pretty, pretty well. But if you're not working in that environment, if you're working out there in the real world, you've got to figure out, you know, a way that suits your personality. And um, my best estimate, having studied a lot of successful coaches over the years and, and helped a lot of other people kind of find their way forward, is it takes about three to five hours of focused, concerted marketing to get a single client once you kind of know what you're doing. So um, bottom line of this tip is sales-based training is not for everyone, but if it is for you, then be sure you put the time in. And I think the third thing uh, out of this is that for most coaches these days, you really want to avail yourself to the benefits of the digital revolution. There are so many easier ways to reach large groups of people that are interested in what you're interested in and kind of build relationship and awareness and trust and enroll them in a much easier way than kind of a sales pushing approach. Okay, tip number three, please do not uh, underestimate the challenges around the mental game of building a coaching practice. Starting a new business um, is, is not easy. You don't know when or, or how or even if it's going to work. And there are so many, you know, distractions. And no matter who you are, there's like a mountain of, you know, disappointments that you've got to get through to kind of reach that critical mass in your practice. And if you, you know, if, if you don't have a way to stay on track, it's really easy to get discouraged and kind of give up and, and, and never follow through on your, on your dream. Um, you know, I do know coaches that can do this all by themselves, but my best guess is that's like one in 20 people that can kind of, you know, read the various books and, and, and figure it all out themselves. Most coaches need some help, some support uh, on kind of the emotional, psychological, kind of mental game of building a practice to really stay in touch with why they're doing it and get through those dips and, and, and down days. And you, you don't have to spend a fortune to get this sort of support. I mean, many coaches reach out to their colleagues they're going through with. Others, you know, can set up a brainstorming uh, you know, kind of group and team. There are um, numerous free resources out there. I've got a ton of free information and tips and videos on my website and my Facebook page. So there's a lot of prior art. There's a lot that's been known uh, and learned from the 50,000 coaches that have come before you. So by all means, reach out for that. But also know that kind of the mental game is a subtle kind of saboteur inner critic that keeps you from reaching that kind of critical mass of confidence, keeps you from ever feeling ready or good enough or, you know, kind of worthy enough to charge for what you're doing. So when you get stuck, reach out and get the help you need. You don't have to sign up for massively expensive programs. Most of those approaches are kind of one size fits all anyways. And, you know, not everybody can become a million dollar blogger or some celebrity coach out there with your own television network. Um, but there's help, there's affordable help. And when you get stuck, reach out, don't sit and suffer by yourself. Okay, um, those are my three tips for you today. And even though, you know, it is a reality that does not get talked about enough in the world of coaching that, you know, there's a lot of struggling. The good news is that coaching really does work. It is a much better solution than a lot of conventional approaches for facilitating change to kind of enhancing training to getting better better results. 
And, um, you know, the, the market for coaching continues to grow. There's some 50,000 coaches out there in the world who have figured this out and hung in there. And, you know, you can learn a lot from those people. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. So it's not all doom and gloom uh, if you go into it with your eyes open and, you know, don't stick your head in the sand. And, and really, um, you know, I, I believe that not everybody, but, you know, maybe 90% of people absolutely can that are, that are interested in coaching absolutely can figure out how to build a practice that they can enjoy, that can be fun, that can support them for the rest of their life for as long as they want to coach. And a coaching practice gives you so much freedom and it's so much meaningful work. So I want to encourage you, but again, encourage you with your eyes open. Okay, those are my tips. As I mentioned, I've got a lot more elsewhere. And now here's my invitation. Four of the, the reasons that I've, I've just, just discussed and the, the many coaches that are struggling out there. Twice a year, I uh, offer an affordable small group marketing program for about 20 coaches. Uh, this is on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, this program includes one-on-one -on -one work with me, which I think is really, really important because you need to figure out you know, how to leverage your strengths and your background and your personality. And one size does not fit for everyone. You got to kind of figure out a few ways that that uh, kind of really resonate with you. So um, this group program offers one-on-one -on -one calls with me each month. It's got large group work where we cover a lot of prior art and common marketing and practice building and coaching skills that are relevant to everybody. And there's small group work where I encourage everybody to kind of partner up and, and you know, hold each other accountable and support one another. And this program is pay as you go. There's not some huge price you pay up front and you're stuck with it. You should get value every single month and you're free to go at any time. It comes without, you know, full guarantee. If you're not happy, you can quit at any time. And the goal in the program is to support you to find your best way to build whatever practice you want of any size, small or large, uh, and and get at least one, you know, thing going so that you can take all the drama out of your life. Okay, so this uh, program I've been running now for well over 10 years. There's been over 500 coaches have gone through it. Many, many have left great testimonials on the program description page that you're welcome to go and uh, check out. I will be um, starting one of these shortly. Uh, and if you're interested, check out the program, give me a call. If you want to chat, I'd be happy to chat with you. But again, it's first come, first serve, and uh, there's only so many people I can support uh, every time we go through this. All right. Um, my deepest wish for you, for anybody that's called to coach, is that you find a way to build a practice you love using your unique gifts working with people that are a great fit for you. And I know it can be ha it can happen. I've seen it done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So I hope that this year you find your way to make that a reality for you. And if I can help you in any way, please make a use of any of the, you know, kind of decades of free information I've been putting out there in videos and articles and everything else. Okay, everybody, take care, have a great day, and hope to uh, chat with you again soon. Bye-bye.